Just a general rule here, do not ever do what I do. Because I think you care about your hair a bit more than I care about mine. Hey everyone, it is nice to see you again. Today we are going to do, guess what? A haircut and a bleach. Yep, we're doing that. So I've been sick for almost a week now. Excuse me. To be honest, my hair has grown quite a bit since I cut it. With really short hair, you can really notice even you know two weeks in the little pieces that are already too long to to look good. And I just feel like I look older with this color, or like it's it's just a bit too dark for me right now and it's not looking great i'm not gonna touch anything on top but i'm gonna have to um, shorten the sides here i also want to create some kind of shape instead of having this like bubble head so as you can see i created a part here and a part here and tried to do the same in the back and then i just only my hair down, go around the ears like this and check it out. You can repeat this a few times, create a nice shape and I really like to go up as well. Cut the flowers. Bring the super short hair to the side and cut it. I'm just gonna do the cut off camera because it's gonna take forever. I'm not with cutting the hair, but I feel like I need to. I didn't want to, but I need to go to Clipper Town. So I got my clipper here and I'm putting it on a 8, 10. And one thing that's very important is that you do like this kind of motion ouch this is painful because you never want to put the clipper like this and then go up like this because then it's just gonna be super short I'm just gonna can you see can you see that that's the motion you want to do And the last thing I'm gonna do before bleaching, removing this hat completely, and I'm just gonna shave my neck, <laughs> as you do. I'm basically leaving the natural shape of my hair blonde down here. I am using this 12% Kalosh Professional Oxidation Emulsion with their super fast bleaching powder. So this is 40 volume. That is a lot, I know. But I have really dark hair as you can see and on the sides, it's most of it is my natural hair color, which is super dark brown. And on the top, it's also mainly my natural hair color, but I also have at the ends some parts that have been blonde um, and now are dark brown so that's gonna be a bit of a battle to get to get that color i'm gonna wet my hair a bit more because we want to keep that hair moist while the bleach is on because my roots are gonna develop faster i'm gonna try to leave them out for now and just focus on the ends here so Basically, I'm just going like this and like this. 
goes to the other side of some length here. And then I'm not gonna part the hair. Continue with the same method, kind of trying to cover the ends first. So the reason I'm starting on the top is because I have processed hair there and I want it, obviously I, I'm gonna have to fight the dye a bit more than my natural oh, color. My virgin hair, this bleach is just growing like crazy. Look at this. Doubling in size. Let's do it quick. Also, quick bleach. And the back. My boyfriend's gonna kill me. So I'm like, why can't you just leave your hair on? As you can see, it's already lifting like crazy so I'm just gonna start going to the roots as well make sure to really saturate that hair everywhere oops this took me 18 minutes I'd say <laughs> 60 minutes minimum to apply so that's a lot of time. Healthy. It's great I'm doing this when I'm still sick, probably. I should have thought about that. I'm back uh, 10 minutes later. I'm gonna remove this. It's really working in there. I can feel it. Everything's bubbling up. Let's see. As I expected, suspected, um, there are some parts on the top here that are obviously not lifting as well as the rest of my head. Or the rest of my hair. Um, so I'm just gonna apply a bit more bleach <laughs> just gonna lather on a bit more bleach here <laughs> okay guys so another 10 minutes have passed i'm removing this and let's see i still have some parts here, they're gonna be orange, but overall, I think it's looking good. I'm gonna wash it off and I'm gonna come back with orange and yellow hair. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> it looks pretty much how I expected it to look like after one bleaching. I'm super proud of myself because, as you can see, I hit my um, roots everywhere that's really good what's not good um, that I was also expecting to happen kind of is that you see the ends here these are snapping off and that's because where you see the ends are white these ends have been platinum blonde then dyed dark and that's why the part where you see the orange is the natural hair that was dyed brown. So the virgin hair that was dyed dark brown. And that is why that is orange. What I always use when I bleach my hair to dome my hair is a hair dye. Uh, Ashibon and this also lifts one to three um, levels. So that's gonna snap my hair off pretty nicely, you know, <laughs> the ends there. I mixed up the color and I'm just gonna 
I didn't remove it from the bottle because I'm doing a long short hair and again I'm doing a quick application What am I doing? Come on! Put more on that completely damaged hair here so it can just, you know, snap off when I'm washing my hair. <laughs> okay guys, so I have finished with the application. I'm gonna do 10 minutes, check on it, do another 10 minutes. Be back after I washed it, sanded it and put on a little bit of a face. Bye guys! Hi. Okay, so... 360. This bow is still red. This is my hair. Look at that. It actually turned out perfectly. Yes, I have some ends here that are extremely dry and they're falling off. <laughs> but you know, it's uh, it's Bruno, by the way. Our new new adopted doggy, and he's super cute. And he loves being on my chest like this. He loves being picked up, and he usually goes into like sleep mode quite quickly when I, if I pick him up like this. Right, sweetie? Yes. I just put his little head down. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is the hair. And honestly, just looking in the mirror, I feel so much fresher. I feel like at this point in my life, especially that I'm a bit heavier than I've always been when I had the super short dark hair, it just kind of hits different. and. The, the blonde is just, I love it. It's modern, it's fresh, and I think it does make me look younger in a way. <laughs> More edgy, maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna do baby boy. <laughs> it's so cute. So cute. And my curls will come back, you know, at some point. They will, they will have their moment again. Just walk out here. I already removed. <laughs> Remove the pictures from the frames because we're leaving the frames here. We're moving soon. So this is natural, natural light. Hey guys, this is me from the next day. I did notice the darker patch here. And this is exactly what happens when you don't have a mirror to see what the hell is going on in the back of your head. So I did try to, I don't know, I don't know how it turned out, but I did try to put a bit more of the, just the dye on it. I didn't bleach it, just use the dye because I had it left over in the bottle. I just wanted to say thank you so much for being on this hair journey with me. I really enjoyed doing these videos. I don't know, whatever. But thank you so much for watching guys and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.